Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, doctor. Have a good one. Hey there, Sarge. Not to pry, but I couldn't help it over here. You going to the doctor? Everything okay? I'm getting a vasectomy. My ears are burning. Did someone say vasectomy? I got snipped. No big deal, just numbs you out from trunk to skunk for a year. It's not supposed to. Trunk to skunk? Hold it up. You're gonna let some quack doctor just knife around down there? You were blessed with a great power. And you should never snip its wings. You should let it soar. Thanks, guys. That's enough. I don't need any more input. Neither does your wife, I guess. Look, you guys, if the sergeant wants to chop off his penis, that is his choice. That's not what a vasectomy is. If you guys don't get back to work, I'm going to start firing detectives. And blanks. Sorry. I just never think of jokes. <laughs> Anybody else? This is your last chance. Oh, god, no need to be so testy. Guess you won't be manning the tip line. Sergeant, is this going to go on your permanent record? <laughs> Now playing Scrotal Recall. Listen up, everyone. We had a murder this morning. The Vic was found at 845 by a dog walker who let herself into his apartment. Oh, my god, it's Franzia. This is the work of Johnny Franzia, my white whale. He's finally resurfaced. Not this again. Yes, this again. Johnny Franzia has been on a murder spree for the past 10 years, and every time he kills someone, he taunts me. Look, there's a deck of cards. You say that whenever there's cars at a crime scene. You know how many people own cars, Jake? Then explain this. Johnny Franzia's catchphrase is deuces are wild. Now look around the apartment. Two chairs, two paintings, two pillows. There are three lamps. You think Franzia gives a damn about lamps? You sound so dumb right now. This is why you don't have an arch nemesis, Terry, because you focus on the wrong details. Maybe I don't have an arch nemesis because I saw all my crimes. That's a pretty up thing to say to me. Thank you for joining me for what promises to be the diggity dopest tree lighting in the history of the 99. I don't understand. Where's the tree? It was inside us all along. Brilliant, Jake. No, Charles, not everything was inside of us all along. The tree is right here. Cool. Can we go now? Obviously not. Behold, the greatest inflatable tree that Murica has to offer. And now, in the immortal words of Saint Nick, turn on the compressor. You hear that? It's the sound of Christmas! It's deafening! It's getting really big. What size tree did you get? It's a jumbo. It says it's 10 meters tall. That's roughly 32.81 feet. Someone unplug it. Unplug it now. We can't. It swallowed its own plug. Everybody run! <laughs> OK. The tree has been contained. Wait, we left a man behind. <laughs> well. Terry's trapped in the break room forever. Only thing we can do now is move on with our lives. It's what Terry would have wanted. God bless us, everyone. Yeah! I'll get back to you guys by the end of the day with all the logistics. Sergeant Terrence Jeffords. Four years ago on this exact date, you told me I was too old to learn how to do the worm. I vowed on that day to prove you a fool. And today, I shall. Check it. More fire! As I was telling the squad, our old CO, Captain McGintley, just passed away. Oh, no. We're going to Los Angeles for the funeral next week. I'll have the travel details later. Hey, has anyone seen a worm? Because this funky chicken's hungry. Charles, a man has died. Read the room. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to start clapping, because I just made a major drug bust. Talking about four kilos of cocaine, 200,000 cash, and my new partner, a tarantula. I call him Jake Jr., a.k.a. Spidey Klum, a.k.a. Mrs. Doubt Spider, a.k.a. Joe Spiden, a.k.a. Tarantula Bassett, a.k.a. Spidermit Mulroney. A.k.a. Tarantulina Jolie. What? No, Charles, have you seen the spider? That's a terrible name. Sorry. Why do you have that thing? Because they were going to throw him away, but I couldn't let them do that to my furry little... No, he's actually really scary up close. It's horrifying from everywhere. Terry hates creepy crawlers. Seriously? I'm not going to your apartment if that thing is there. All right, fine. Then he'll just live here and help me solve crimes. Get used to him, everyone, because me and this spider are partners for life. He's gone. I left the cage unlocked, and he's gone. Oh, somebody find him! They have the ground! I'm good. I'm out of here! He couldn't have gone far, unless 
he can fly. Can tarantulas fly? Jake, you better find that spider. And I'm not coming back here until you do. Uh, Sarge, I think I found it. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no. It's on my head! Oh. <laughs> hey, Jake, guess who just called me? The Jerky Boys. They're back! No. What? No. No. DC Parlov. He's in town for Legend Con, and he has a case for us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Parlov. Didn't you write those Skyfire books? I thought he turned out to be a jerk. Yeah, but ever since Jake and I saved his life, he's actually been very nice. He even sent me a Christmas gift, a full-scale replica of the Sword of Opadoma. Mm -hmm. Why are you so excited? You don't care about those stupid books. I actually did read all of them in prison. They are the greatest books I've ever read. And I've read Cujo. Jake and I really bonded over Skyfire. Watch this. Favorite moment in the series? The, the summoning, summoning of, of Bella Castro. Castro. Second favorite? The, the Scarlet Feast. Feast. Third favorite? When, when you thought Kalar had been swallowed by the Norlith, but he had just switched armor with Samling the Betrayer in the Battle of Borcastle. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth favorite? Three was plenty, so was zero. OK, I can see that you're skeptical, Rosa, but how about this? Come with us on the case. I know you think it's dumb, but Skyfire is actually very smart and dark and adult. It's not for nerds at all. Ooh, on our way there, should we sing the Elvish hunting song? <laughs> Sharpen your swords and string your bows. The beasts have gone away. Hey, Gina, you got that file I needed Captain Holt to sign? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Gina hasn't taken her eyes off her phone in two hours. First person to make her look up wins the pot. I'm in. Bet which improves someone's manners, double score. Sorry, guys, I got this in the bag. I used to have to distract her from my phone all the time when we were smooshing booties. Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Hey, girl. Oh. Oh. Catch you later. Mid-morning dance party. She's dancing even better than normal. Oh, my god. Did you hear that George W. Bush died? Who died? Oh. <laughs> Gina may never look at another real human being again. She's unbeatable. Uh, I don't know about that. Terrence Jeffords, are you kidding me? Changed my relationship status to it's complicated. Pony up, y'all. <laughs> Woo! It's my wife. Hey, baby. No, 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 no. It was a mistake. My thumb slipped it. I have to go home. Jake, will you join me in Terry's office? Oh. Private rendezvous, huh? This whole trying to make a baby thing has got you super freaky. Terry, what's up, dude? What did you think was happening? He clearly thought you were gonna have secret sex in here. <laughs> what? In a probes much? I did not think that. Amy did. She texted me about it. See, proof. Anyway, what's up, Lieutenant? Santiago and I are going to an administration workshop for the NYPD. And it's voluntary, so only the cool kids are gonna be there. Love you so much. Continue. Anyways, you're in charge for the day. Oh, boy, here comes the lecture. Be responsible, Jake. Don't do anything crazy or fun. There's no lecture. I trust you. Oh, but there always used to be a lecture. Yeah, well, you're not the same immature, rebellious kid you used to be. Didn't you and Amy just buy a family-friendly mid-sized sedan? In a rebellious color, champagne, which is an alcohol, and let's not forget, I wanted to have sex in your office just now. Yeah, to have a baby and become a father. Yeah, he turned it around on me. It's not bad that I trust you more now. Plus, there's not even that much for you guys to do today. I mean, the squad is on reserve parade duty. Your job is to sit around. Good point. Besides, what's the worst thing a responsible guy like me could do? Buckle your butts, everyone. The Jimmy Jab games are back. All right, everyone. As you know, the NYPD intends to shutter one precinct in Brooklyn. I'll be evaluating the 9-9 and sending my findings to the deputy commissioner. Are there any questions? Yeah, Veronica, are you sure you're the best person for that job, given our, um, you know? Sexual past. Thank you, Detective Boyle. Sergeant Jeffords, don't be silly. I won't let the fact that you and I have a history together affect the decision I have to make in any way whatsoever. Well, that's certainly good to hear. I mean, sure. It took me years of intense therapy to get over, and it's given me a fear of intimacy that has affected every subsequent relationship. But there's no reason I can't remain unbiased. The way you just said that makes it seem like you actually are biased. I have no idea what you mean. That is all. Okay, the plan is clear. Sarge, you divorce Sharon, abandon your children, get back together with that monster, the precinct is saved. I'm not leaving my family. Come on, you didn't even consider it! All right, gang, diet day four. How's everyone holding up? Honestly, I'm going to last forever. You hear that, bitches? 
I'm gonna last forever. <laughs> I'm doing great. This morning, the homeless guy on my stoop said my skin looked dope. What's going on? Why do you all have matching bags? We're doing a diet together. My wife found it. She heard about it at Mommy and Me Graphic Design. Wait, it might have been Tyler Karate. <laughs> she takes our little ladies to so many classes, I can't keep it straight. Childhood is truly a time of wonder. This diet is very scientific, sir. All the meals are pre-planned and delivered to your doorstep. This is our breakfast. An orange wedge, three cashew nuts, and a solitary grape. It's actually more than you realize. Sometimes I can't even finish all the grape. Well, this seems unnecessary to me. You're all in perfect shape. You can always be healthier, sir. And I like the challenge. Plus, it's good team building. We're going to get through this together. <laughs> hey, guys, pro tip. Lick the baggie. There's food molecules in there. Oh, oh that's so smart. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Sarge, what are the chances? I say zero. Oh, I mean, when Genevieve got me these suspenders, I thought I'd lean into it and go for the whole look, but I didn't want to step on your toes. That being said, you know what this means. Don't do this, Charles. Oh, it's already done. Gather around, y'all. It's time to play Who Wore It Best. I'd really rather not. Because you're a little chicken? Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Who wore it best? Terry. Terry. What? Come on! You should change, Boyle. <sighs> Not here. Gather around, glorious turd monsters, and feast your eyes on what I hold in this hand. The future of movement, a hoverboard. I don't understand those things. Is walking really so hard for you? Oh, Ames, walking's a nightmare. Yeah, Amy. Now, friends, eat my space dust. <laughs> okay. A little harder to control than I thought. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Whoo! I think I'm getting the hang of it. No, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You got this? No, I do not got this, Terry. Don't let go of me. The future of movement is now. <laughs> Peralta, looks like an old friend of yours is back in town. Who? That guy Neil that you bunked with at sleepaway camp? Ah, uh, Neil from camp was the best. He could pick up a milk carton with his butt cheeks. He was so funny. You know who else was funny? Bill Cosby. Charles, will you relax? You're gonna love Neil. It's not Neil. Why would it be Neil? It's Doug Judy. Oh, right. Someone we all know in a police capacity. That makes more sense. Someone's using his signature move to steal cars, plugging into the OBD port and reprogramming the immobilizer module. That's Doug Judy's MO, but it's not him. He told me he went legit. That's what he told you last time, too, before he screwed you over. Yeah, but he returned the diamonds to me eventually, and it turned out that was the only way to get Giggle Pig off the streets. Wait, I may be confusing our adventures. What year was the cruise? The dude's a criminal. People don't change. Ever heard of Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. You might want to talk to his shirts and pants about people not changing. <laughs> well, I want to ask Doug Judy some questions. You have his number? I always make contact through his mom. I'll put you in touch with her, but remember, she thinks I'm his assistant, Mangy Carl, and he's a famous architect who's designing LeBron James's new school for black astronauts. Hello, Mrs. Judy? I'm looking for your son, the architect. Yes, I'm from black NASA. Oh, my. I didn't know. I understand. Goodbye. So, Doug Judy will not be coming in. What? Why not? Oh, I see. He is dead. Hey, Charles, can we talk in the briefing room for a sec? There's a question I got to ask you. Mm -hmm. It's happening. Jake is going to pop the question. He's going to ask me to be his BM. No. BM, best man, is a common abbreviation. No one but you has ever used it. I am so relieved. I thought maybe he was going to ask one of Amy's brothers or ugh, Sarge. Hey, man, come on. Charles! OK, so I know this is a lot to ask. No, it's not. I want to do it. You want to cover my shift this weekend so I can go to the White Plains Mall and meet Daryl Strawberry at the opening of a cell phone store? Yes. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd ask. Great. Thanks. You sure it's OK? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm very happy about it. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. Uh, look at my smile. <laughs> I have to go now. Oh my God! Jake! What do you say, bud? Will you be my BM? Yes! Yes, a million times yes! In your face, Terry! What? I'm holding a sparkler for you. I helped organize a lot of this. We could stick that sparkler up your butt. I'm the best man! Kablamo, scrubs. I nailed it.
I solved Captain Holt's brain teaser and found the location of our secret meeting. The answer, the broom closet in your face. In whose face now? Yours. Gina and I have been here 20 minutes. Though my presence is not puzzle related, I just followed Terry into a dark closet. Hey, you solved the puzzle before me. Nerds. <sighs> they solved it first, they're the nerds. I'm cool like you. Wait. Where's Captain Holt? Where's Amy? Yeah, she should be the first one here. Doesn't she go to like an adult puzzle camp every summer? Yes, but please don't bring that up. I've been throwing out her mailers. Guys, if those two aren't here, I'm thinking we must be in the wrong place. No, trust me, we're definitely in the right place. I'm 100% sure about this. Oh, guess who solved the puzzle? Who? We did. Oh, we did? Yeah, we're in the wrong place. Here comes the bachelor, all dressed in my nice jacket I only wear for special events. Ah, oh, you're already on fire. Thank you, my friend and gentlemen. Welcome to my bachelor party. This is the elite party squad. That is, assuming the captain is ready to let loose. Captain? I don't think so. I want you guys to think of me as one of the boys, so tonight I'll be swapping out my captain's hat for my Kangol hat. Call me Raymond. Okay, Raymond in the Kangol hat. I will definitely call you Raymond Raymond in the Kangol hat. <gasps> this is the best night of my life. Mine too. Sharon gave me permission to get wasted. She's even putting a pasta pot next to the bed in case I hurl. Smart. I'm definitely putting a pasta pot on our wedding registry. Charles, tell us everything we're doing tonight. Well, that could take a long time. I've been planning this bachelor party for 10 years. But I met Amy eight years ago. Well, what does she have to do with this? JK, I'm happy for you both. No, no. Tonight is about creating a bond that will last forever. Tonight is about the Batch Boys. Well, we can brainstorm the name later. No, we can't, because I already made fanny packs. Ah, well, that settles that. This uh, clearly says Bach Boys. No, it's Batch, you know, like the beginning of Bachelor. I've been working on this for 10 years. Don't ruin it. OK, so let's fanny up Batch Boys, because it's time to party. Woo, woo! Yes. Whoop, whoop, Raymond and the Kangle. <laughs> let's go. What you got there? A candle, perfume, bra? Someone's dropping off a care package for mom. Ew, no. It's the stuff that Sophia left in my apartment. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. Breakups are the worst. Man, I just want to walk up to Sophia, slap her in the face, and say, girl, you messed up. You need to destroy that stuff. You want me to crush that big box into a little ball with my bare hands? No, yeah. I'm going to text Sophia and give her her stuff back. That way I'll get to see her again and hopefully smell the air around her hair. That'll make me feel better. No, 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 no. OK, you need to embrace the pain so you can get through it. You need catharsis. Sarge is right. You need to cathart. Cathart your brains out. Cathart all over the place. That is a great point, guys. Thank you. You know who would appreciate that a lot is Sophia. I'm going to text her. I'm going to take that phone now, Jake. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Well, you did that very easily. Look, I understand that you're trying to help, but I promise you the best thing for me right now is to text Sophia. Take my phone. Thank you. Vincent. Why hasn't she written back yet? God, this feels terrible. You two could have stopped this, but you didn't, you monsters. For the last time, the best cop movies in order, Training Day, Lethal Weapon, and Fargo. End of discussion. Wrong. Die Hard is the best cop movie of all time. One cop heroically saving the day while everyone else stands around and watches. It's the story of my life. I like Turner and Hooch. Tom Hanks, reluctant friendship with a dog. That hits me where I live. No, RoboCop. It's got everything I like, gratuitous violence. Oh, I thought you were listing things. I was, I'm done. Okay. Let's talk bad boys. That's the perfect cop movie. Mr. Smith looking fine. A hot cup of Tia Leone. Come on. Francois Truffaut's Breathless. What? Terry likes foreign films. OK. There is a correct answer to this question, though. So gather around for the greatest cop film of all time. Please refrain from texting during our presentation. All right, so there's Hitchcock, and there's an old hooker. And there. Come on, guys, that happened four years ago. Shh, this is the best part. She comes back, takes the wallet, and here she goes! Oh! Woo! Extreme! <laughs> oh, you guys are probably curious about this. It's no biggie. My car's in the shop, so I rode in on Rose's motorcycle. I guess you could say I'm a gearhead now. He held on to me so tight, it was like a two-mile Heimlich. Those things have no walls on them. Captain, why are you sitting at my desk? Lieutenant Miller from Internal Affairs is here. He's taken over my office. Apparently, someone has been leaking classified information to a criminal syndicate. The entire squad is under investigation. That's crazy. No one hears a mole. How can you be so sure? Because I know these guys. I know everything about them. Well, you're a poor police officer if you don't think that people can surprise you. Not these people. Here, 
Watch this. I know what everyone's going to do tonight. It's Thursday, so Gina's going to leave early to rehearse with her new dance group, Dancy Reagan. They're the first ladies of movement. Amy's going to be going over her weekly budget. And Charles will be attending a pizza for one cooking class. Tonight's menu, pepper aloni. And if I run and leap at Terry, he will most certainly catch me in his arms. Coming in. No, holding coffee. Oh, this is amazing. This is so amazing. Everything about this is amazing. What are you talking about? A virus got on the server and sent all of us an email with everyone's search histories. Check this out. Sergeant Jeffords searched the internet for undiscovered muscle. I was working out and saw a muscle in my shoulder I'd never seen before. I thought it might have been a scientific discovery. Listen to this. Scully searched for how much fudge is in a calorie. I never found the answer, but it's a good question. Boyle looked up how to make desk yogurt. Yes, I did, and I am thrilled with the results, although the jar is really hot. That's gross. And Amy searched for Daniel Craig hands plus close-up. Oh. You should talk. You searched for cheapest date possible. And I wear that search like a badge of honor. So, ready for dinner? Here we go. <sighs> Would you like something sweet or maybe savory? Apple pie, and I'm stuck. I'm stuck! Hey, hey, hey! It's the best day of the year! Happy Cinco de Mayo! I don't think you're allowed to wear a poncho at work, Hitchcock. Let's fiesta! Oh, you got a band. Stop! Stop! No trumpets! Not today! My head is killing me! Hit the tequila a little early, huh? I'm not hungover, Hitchcock. I got a tension headache. I got the lieutenant's exam tonight. I'm stress eating like crazy. I had 10 hard-boiled egg yolks this morning. Gross. You're having a high-grade pre-test freakout? I've been there. March 13th, 2001. AP Calc test. Ames, I hate to cut you off, but we all know where this story's going. Oh, yeah? You know that I crapped my pants in the middle of the test? Oh, my god, no. I thought you were just gonna say you got a B-plus or something. More like a BM. Noise. Come on! Now Terry's worried about his test and his bowel. What you need, Sergeant, is to distract yourself. NPR has a riveting six-hour interview with Eileen Moon Myers. Nobody knows who that is. Nobody knows the associate principal cellist in the New York Philharmonic. <laughs> okay. Wait, I've got it. I know how to distract Terry. Captain, remember how you canceled the last Halloween heist because there was that emergency gas line explosion and you said we had to help out? Yes, I also remember you refusing to believe the explosion was real. Go back to acting school, buddy. You're way overselling the pain here. No one's buying it. Well, it's not like I was the only one who thought it was fake. And the Oscar goes to rent. You said that we should reschedule the heist for another day, so... Why not today, to help distract Terry? Yes, and I would love to defend my crown after I destroyed you all last year. Well, I mean, the proposal was all part of my plan. All I remember is you bowing to me on your knees. Yeah, I was asking you to marry me. Well, you look like a fool. Neither of you won because Jake swapped out the real championship cummerbund belt for the treacly proposal one. Well, I thought everyone loved that I used the heist to do the proposal. You were wrong. Everyone hated it. But it helped me win. During your engagement celebration, I snuck back and found the original cummerbund. No. It's hanging up in my living room at home. I never thought I'd say this, but enough foreplay. Are we heisting or not? Yes. Of course. Wait, I will only do this under one condition. Sergeant Jeffords agrees that this will help his nerves. Yeah, I mean, I would like to take my mind off the test. <laughs> Maybe I'll win this year. Ah, <laughs> uh, the heist is already working. Sergeant Jeffords has recovered his sense of humor. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, but for real, though, are we doing this? We're doing this! Heist! Heist! It's a Cinco de Mayo heist! A Cinco de Mayo heist makes just as much sense as Halloween. Let's do it! <laughs> <laughs>